Hello friends and welcome back to VHB Tutorials. So a very warm welcome after a very long time, right? So in today's video we will uh, complete the complex transformations. So in today's video we will discuss the Mobius transformation extended topic. That is what? That is cross ratio. So this is a small sweet topic and yes scoring topic also. So I hope you will pay attention. You will watch this lecture till the end and please uh, make sure that you subscribe if you, if you haven't subscribed and share as much as you can share. Now let's dive into our topic without any further delay. So now we will start. So this is the extended topic of the bilinear transformation or we can say Mobius transformation. So what, what is this topic? This is the cross ratio. But before understanding what is cross ratio, we will frame a situation. So pay attention. Suppose that you have three points, let's say Z1, Z2 and Z3, let me write. So you have these three points Z1, Z2 and Z3, these are in the Z plane. So suppose that this is our Z plane, this is X, this is Y and we are having let's say this is Z1, this is Z2 and this is Z3, right? We have these three points in Z plane. Now you are performing a operation of transformation on these three points and you are getting the uh, different three points or in W plane let's say W1, W2, W3 which are corresponding to these three points means for example now after performing a transfer transformation that is W is equals to FZ you are getting points this is the W plane, UV plane or W plane you are getting this W1, this W2 and this W3 means after performing a certain operation on these three points in Z plane and you are getting the corresponding points in the W plane that is W1, W2, W3 if you are getting this type of condition that means Z1 is corresponding to W1, Z2 is corresponding to W2 and Z3 is corresponding to W3 then we can say that there is a unique relation between these points and we can say that relation as cross ratio. So how we will write this cross ratio? I will write just pay attention. The cross ratio can be written as W minus W1 into W2 minus W3 upon W minus W3 into W2 minus W1 which is equals to Z minus Z1 into Z2 minus Z3 upon Z minus Z3 into Z2 minus Z1. So this is known as cross ratio, cross ratio formula. Now the proof of this cross ratio formula is not asked in the examination. If you want the proof, just comment me down. I will make the video of this proof also, right? Now, you will see and you will find difficult to remember this cross ratio at first. But I will give a pattern to remember this cross ratio. Just pay attention. So, if you will see this left hand side, then you are, you are finding 1, 2, 3. That means in the numerator, the pattern is 1, 3. 2, 3. So what you will do? You will, let us say, assume that this is 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So you will do W minus W1 after W2 minus W3. Means you will follow a flow. 1, 2, 3. Now exactly opposite in the denominator. That is 3, 2, 1. So 3, 2, 1. That is W minus W3 into W2 minus W1. And the same pattern will be followed here also. That is Z minus Z1 into z2 minus z3 that means 1 2 3 and again 3 2 1 right so now this ratio becomes simpler after this for after following this pattern so what was that pattern in the numerator it is 1 2 3 or 0 1 2 3 so w minus w1 into bracket w2 minus w3 upon w minus w3 into w2 minus w1 right so similarly on the z part also so it is z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 upon 
z minus z3 into z2 minus z1. So I hope you got this cross ratio formula. So now we will solve the sums related to this cross ratio. So the question is find the bilinear transformation which maps the point z equals to 0 minus i minus 1 onto w equals to i1 0. So here the solution will be so solution so here z is given so z1 is what z1 is 0 then z2 is what z2 is minus i and z3 is minus 1. So similarly for w also w1 is i w2 is 1 and w3 is 0 right now whenever you find this kind of question in your examination then without any hesitation apply the cross ratio formula the formula is what 1 2 3 3 to 1 so it is w minus w1 into w2 minus w3 upon w minus w3 into w2 minus w1 so in numerator first is 1 2 3 and in denominator the reverse 3 to 1 which is equals to z minus z1 similarly in the z part into z2 minus z3 upon z minus z3 into z2 minus z1 right so now we will just put the values of these terms so w as it is w now how we will solve this sum so for that you need to remember that in the uh, uh, left hand side you will bring w and on right hand side you will bring z that means w is equals to f of z form you will bring means on the left hand side there will be only one w and on the right hand side there will be the terms of z so how it is so i will show you so now i substituted the values of w1 w2 w3 and z1 z2 z3 in the cross ratio formula so you will get something like this now what will be the next step so next step will be here we have w minus i into 1 as it is upon w into 1 minus i which is equals to z into 1 minus i right which is upon it will be what it will be minus of z i plus i because i brought minus common now what will be the next step here we want w on the one side so bring uh, so keep this w minus i on the uh, left hand side which is equals to z into 1 minus i upon minus of z i plus i and uh, or let's say if we will uh, multi, uh, we will do the simplification in the numerator that is z minus z i into w minus w i so i just multiplied this w into the bracket so we are getting w minus w i so what will be the next step so it will be w minus i equals to we will multiply this brackets so it will be z w or let's say i will write here because it is getting clumsy so it is w minus i which is equals to z w minus i into z w then minus i z w then this is minus z i into w i right upon this is a minus of z i plus i right so this z w as it is here we are getting two times of i z w right two times of i z w and this this is minus minus plus so here we will uh, we will have plus sign and here i square i square is what i square is minus one so again we will have a minus sign with minus sign we will have z into w as i square is minus one so this got uh, this gets cancelled and we are getting z i plus i and a w minus i as it is now this minus and this minus gets cancelled so we are getting w minus i is equals to 2i z w upon z i plus i so you can see here we are having w 
So we will bring this term on the left hand side. So w minus 2i z w upon z i plus i equals to i, bringing i on the right hand side. So what we will get? We will bring this w common. So w into bracket 1 minus this 2i z upon z i plus i is equals to y. So we are multiplying or bringing the LCM same that is z i plus i minus 2 i z upon z i plus i equals to i. Now I need to rub this part. So what we are getting? So you can see here z i minus 2 times of z i. So what we will get? Minus of z i. So it is i minus z i upon z i plus i z i plus i which is equals to i. Now you can see here i i is common in numerator and denominator so we will cancel it. So it is 1 minus z upon i common so you are getting 1 plus z which is equals to i. So this gets cancelled and this is w into 1 minus z upon 1 plus z which is equals to i. So what we are getting is w equals to i upon this term 1 minus z upon 1 plus z. Now how we will write? So it is w is equals to i into 1 plus z upon 1 minus z. So this is our final answer. So it is in w is equals to f of z form. Right? So you need to bring each and every sum relating to this cross ratio formula in this w is equals to f of z form. Now, if you have any doubts in this cross ratio, then please comment me down and really very sorry as I was having my examination. So I was unable to upload and prepare the videos related to the maths. But now I will try my best to upload the videos in regular intervals. So please subscribe to my channel if you had not subscribed and please share this video as much as you can share. Right and support me. And that's it. We will discuss the next topic, next extended topics that is invariant and fixed points or invariant means these are the same topics in the next video lecture. So till then have a good day and bye.